No, no, no. Do not just withdraw all your 401k savings. A lot of the people, while they're working, they're contributing money in 401k or maybe, maybe uh, putting it in an IRA uh, savings plan. Now, these are paid usually on a pre-tax basis. That, that means before your income gets taxed, you set it aside so it gets sheltered. Well, sheltered means delayed. Taxation gets delayed, not that it is tax-free. So, when you withdraw that money, whether it's 401k or IRA with exception of Roth, Roth is paid for on an after-tax basis. So you get taxed, then you set the money aside. Whereas if it is a standard IRA, you set it aside and you deduct that money from your taxable income. But when you withdraw it, that's when you get taxed. Now, what I usually do is spread it out over a period of time such that my pension, my, my Social Security, IRA, and all other income that I have will not exceed the threshold beyond which the money, the income, gets taxed. This way you can collect your money over a period of time tax-free. Okay? So, when I say delayed or deferred, it's just that you will have to pay tax on that eventually unless you plan it right so that you can collect the money and not exceed the threshold before it becomes taxable. Don't ask me what the threshold is. There are a lot of consideration to be done. Make sure you check with your tax advisor, whether he's an accountant or a financial planner, do that. Now, when you make a withdrawal, that withdrawal technically will be subject to tax. But if you combine that with your other income, such as Social Security and your below the threshold, it does not get taxed. As I said, if it's a Roth IRA, usually it's free because you paid it with the after-tax dollars while you were in your earning years, during your earning years. Now, some people might say, oh gee, you know, I keep on withdrawing, I'm not paying any tax. They may be talking about state tax because certain states do tax Social Security. Some states do not. For example, Pennsylvania, they don't tax Social Security. Uh, if I move to uh, Seattle, uh, Washington state, well, they do not have income tax. So that too will be free, but not the federal. The federal will tax you, okay? And again, unless the threshold is not exceeded, in which case, it becomes tax-free. Not only that, here's a surprise for you. When we talk Medicare, Medicare Part A, that's for hospitalization, is usually free. You don't have to worry about that thing. But Part B, that is for physician services, you pay. And most people pay about $175 currently, okay, $175, but that is based on income. So, the $175 a month that you pay is if your income is, and if you're individual or single, $103,000 or less. Now, this is the current table, okay? Or if you are filing a joint return, if you're married, it's two hundred six thousand. As long as you don't exceed those, you pay one hundred seventy five. Now, a lot of people have maybe two hundred, three hundred thousand, maybe even one million dollars or more to withdraw, and they say, "Gee, you know, I can buy a house, I can do this, I can do that, I can go on vacation. Oh, we'll, let's withdraw everything, put it in a savings account." You could very easily exceed that threshold. Now. If you're above 103,000 single, if you're above 103,000 and up to 129,000, and if you're married, 
206,000 to 258,000 if that's your bracket, total taxable bracket, $244.60. And it goes up to as high as if you have 500,000 and above single or 750,000 and above married, you could pay $594 a month. So not only do you pay tax, and by the way, this uh, this uh, this rate is delayed. So, for example, uh, when I say uh, most people pay $175 a year, that is based on 2022 income, two years ago. So, uh, for this year, let's say if you made a one-time lump sum distribution and it's $500,000 and above, and you're added to all your earnings, your income is $500,000 or more, you'll be paying $594 at least for this year 2024. Comes 2025, that's another story. It reverts back to zero. So if you're not, not zero, but to the $175 minimum, if you're only making 103,000. So you will have this for at least 12 months. Well, for 12 months, not at least, but 12 months based on your earnings from two years ago. Okay, so that's Medicare. And keep in mind, Fed tax, federal tax, you will get hit. No exemption whatsoever if you exceed the threshold. So just keep that in mind. And before you make a decision to make a lump sum withdrawal, do check with your tax accountant or uh, financial planner and make sure they're familiar with Medicare, state where you are, and federal. Okay? So, well, obviously, if you're in the Philippines, you will just be responsible for the federal. You don't have to pay any state tax. So, I hope uh, you learned something from this. I'll appreciate it if you click like and do share this with other people who may be in the same boat. They have so much money in savings. Uh, do not just withdraw it. Make sure you make a planned withdrawal so you can withdraw it over time and not be subjected to tax. Just watch that threshold okay so thank you so much for watching make it a great day and god bless and please do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so and click that notification bell so you get notified of new postings i don't post a lot so you're not going to be bothered but periodically there's something important that i post just like this one and uh, just keep that in mind before you decide to make a significant withdrawal god bless